State Cyclones. And the winner of this game will advance to the South Region in Atlanta next weekend. Good evening, everybody. Vern Lundquist along with Joe Raffrey. Leslie Visser will be along in a moment. The unquestioned star of the Iowa State Cyclone team, Royce White. He transferred in from Minnesota. He we he dazzled us the other night. It's just, it's just amazing. You know, you think about his passing and getting his teammates involved. He can also attack the rim. He's got an outstanding amount of speed to get by people. It's deceptive. He can create for others and can finish for himself. They'll be going after him all night long. He's got to have a big game for Iowa State. Head coach of the Iowa State Cyclones is an alumnus, Fred Hoiberg, in his second season. And his starting lineup will include Chris Allen, Scott Christofferson, Chris Babb, Melvin Edgen, and Royce White. 111 games. His record was 97-14. The officiating crew for this South Region encounter, Jamie Lucky, Sean Corbin, and Jerry Pollard. Anthony Davis. Seven blocks the other night. Terrence Jones had a sensational game. Alongside Davis, and well, they all played well. And the thing, Bill, about this Kentucky team is they spread the wealth. They are a team personified by their terrific basketball, and what an atmosphere of her. Hold on. Well, I don't know that you would ever say that Kentucky has a home game on the court of the Louisville Cardinals, <laughs> but this is as close as you'll get. Well, right now, turn left, it's Kentucky go. And they're going to stay right up on Royce White. Do not let him on the top of the key. And he's posting that they will put a lot of different guys on him. First is Jones. Terrence Jones has White. That's in. Got the number and off the ball. Wow. Well, we saw practice yesterday, and they're going to try and stay on each guy and not help. So the big thing is penetration. See if they can do some damage. And, of course, the post up. Marcus Teague. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Now Anthony Davis at the perimeter. Well, they come with a double from the top. They leave Teague alone. Christopherson, the help. Shot clock nearing 10. Jones. Guarded by Edgem. Jumper Teague. Royce White with the rebound for the Cyclones. And move, but they want to keep him on one-on-one. -on -one. Whoa, how about that? Chris Allen just on a pretty face with jump shots. A little toughness. Uh, the ability to keep moving is very important. I think give White the ball outside in the low post. I don't think he can be as creative because everybody is staying home. But how about Edgerton hey, back to Chris Christopherson. They have four players on the state. Good point. How about that rearrangement in the air? Shot go for a team. Well, this team, 14 times, 10 or more threes. Nice play again by White. How about that? They're going to give him the goal? No indication yet that they are. There's a conference. Yes. Ooh, I thought that was a... Wow. Contact early, but they can it. They needed it badly. He's there. Royce, and anytime he gets to the lane, he usually converts. They lost to Bandy in the SEC championship. There's only one name uh, that they're not happy with. Yeah, Christopher. Oh, it's been unbelievable here in Louisville. This is the fair, is the high arching shot. Now he's a 49% free throw shooter. He made three of four the other night. Chris Allen. Boy, Darius Space Miller's all over. over him. What a tough shot that one. That was a big time delivery. Bouncing. Step back, Jack. Fake team. Here's Teague again off the mark. Now he's been in as many as we've announced. <laughs> From the corner, Flutter got it. Well, they really make you kick and settle and drive at them, and that's about the best you can do. You're not getting anything around the rim, I don't think.
shots and right here the defense Miller really rides the guy out forces him into a tough shot you just shake your head on that particular one but this one little cradle job soft no boo boo there <laughs> I knew you'd have something I just didn't know what form it would take uh, 850 to go first half there you go. Oh, oh looks it went down hard he and they can have nights where their offense may be not percolating. Uh, oh. Get live tournament coverage, scores, and stats on your mobile device with the free app from CBS Sports. To download, text CBS to 42777. Remember John Calipari tell us he was looking at some tape of Iowa State. He shut it off. He was so afraid. You know, some of their great wins, Kansas and Baylor at home. Some good road wins as well at K-State, Oklahoma. Texas Tech, he said, they're pretty good. A little zone. Edge on that one. Yes, That's what that is. He's pretty confident with that dribble, isn't he? Keeps it alive. He's a playmaker. Well, he's called a point forward, but mm -hmm. you could call him a point guard or a point center. And then nice little drive there. Just if they can get Davis out of there, a lot of that's what teams try to do. Get him out. Get him involved in ball screen action. And then get your blow by going. Back to Davis. That's that little series they like to run. Give it back to Kent Gilchrist misfires. Apollo and Wisconsin has won, so they advance, knocking Vandy out of the NCAA tournament here in 2012. 26-19 with 7-10 to go in the first half here. Puts a body on the ice one. And what a nice play. What happened was Davis stayed under the rim in case White made that little maneuver. John Calipari not happy, but solid. The kick out and the ability to convert. Back in it right now. That's some solid play by them. And how about right here? I just love the attention to detail here. They just understand where to go and get free because White's being doubled in a sense, even though it's a slough off. But a big fella, day, he just can't get out, Anthony, quick enough. Well done. Fred Hoiberg told me of the valuable lessons he learned from his years in the NBA, offensive sets from Flip Saunders, motivation from Larry Bird. But he said in his 10 years, one of the teammates he enjoyed the most was our own Greg Anthony. He said, Greg is smart, Greg is fun, and he added, man, that guy can talk. <laughs> hey, man. Oh. And he can do commercials? Yes, I've seen uh, a little bit of him outside of the studio here in the last I'll tell you, Greg was weeks. some player, too. Fred Harper grew up in Ames, and he was a ball boy in 1984, 85, and 86. Later, of course, became a great player for the Cyclones. A guard from 91 to 95 at 6'4". And then, of course, now in his second year as a head coach after that 10-year playing career in the NBA. In college, now he's got the assignment with one. Really great to see Kyle Wilcher back on the floor. Absolutely. So apparently that's uh, obviously not a serious injury. He fell hard. Uh, Wilcher, I believe. In Looks the power to the goal, this guy. One more. Davis and Wilcher will switch positions. You know, with the limited bench that John Calipari from pictures and signing a few autographs. So the people should know that's the problem we have going through the lobby. We get we get all that attention, right. just, and minus the hug. Right? Yeah. See that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Little, nice little post up right out of the game. What a tough shot that turned out to. A little revenge for Gibson. Percy Gibson gets it over Anthony Davis. And all of a sudden it's a 12 point lead and White on Jones. Well, he, oh, I like the aggressive play though, don't you? Royce White. 
A nice job here by Jones, really trying to stretch the legs. And remember the drill they did yesterday on the sideline where they stretched their legs? And John did that. And why do you think we did this? He said to the team all year long, for everybody in front of you trying to get Teague to go backwards towards the baseline. One of two, and a substitution now, Anthony Booker well, this is replaces dangerous. White. This is dangerous. They're, they're, they're going to let them pass it all the way to half court. Eight to one run, and they will have a double-digit lead going into the locker room. Let's go to Leslie Visser, who's with John Calipari. Thanks, Vern. John, of course, you uh, almost recruited Royce White. He had nine of Murray State's first 11 points, just one free throw at the end. What are you trying or what are you able to do to him? He's a hard one to guard. I mean, he's good with the ball. He's a point guard with a linebacker physique. Um, we're trying to give him some space. We're trying to make it hard on him, but he's going to get points. To dunks, too. End of the half, Kentucky leading by 11. We'll send you to hit one three pointer in the first half. That is not your game. What do you have to do? Uh, we need that better movement. Uh, I thought we uh, we came down and stood around a lot. We didn't get the ball moved from side to side to shift their defense. Uh, we got to get out and run better as well. Try to get some shots in transition. We're allowing them to guard us in the half court. And they're as good as any team in the country when they're allowed to do that. Yeah, sometimes we'll forget that. Thanks a lot, Coach Byrne. Leslie, thanks. To the 10 on doubles, but I mean, they need more of this right now. Royce White's got to dominate, do some things, nice spin out. It's tough with Davis Ruby, but maybe he can get a kick out pass if you check out the numbers. Well, Royce White with 10 points on four or five shooting, but uh, no three point uh, shots to speak of for Iowa State. And Kentucky with uh, 13 points. Here's something interesting. Anthony Davis, 164 blocks for the year. This is only the third time all season he's been held without a block in the first half of the game. I'll bet you dinner he gets one this time. <laughs> you get the beverage on the rebound. Look at the speed of this kid. He beat the two bigs, and I think Davis is looking to come out. He might be hurt. The, their best and his best rebound and bring it up and look at the traffic able to protect that basketball with two guys who can scoop and yet finish at the rim strong uh, pretty play do some nice things oh we got a lot of love in practice yesterday and one more hook it, no hook it, no hook it this time Calipari had something to say of a non-complimentary nature and that basket counts does great hustle and then the ability to turn it to the rim. And one for Chris Allen. These are the things they have to come up with. Any of this loose stuff, make sure that they accomplish the trip, garner it, and finish. That is terrific and a great use of the offhand. 82% free throw shooter for the season. Chris Allen completes the three point play and a quick start for Iowa State. Coming out of the shoot here in the second half. Team six of nine in the first half. Here's Davis. A nice play. Pushed him off the block. Stole the ball, and here he comes again. Calipari upset on the scrape down to the box area, but Royce turns to the fans, and why not? He deserves the accolades. All set up by great defense. Royce to the chin. Send it in with that motor. All right, lip readers, take a look at Royce White. I'm the best player, and he's looking right at the Iowa State Cyclone fans, small in number though they be. And he is a remarkable basketball player. I've heard you say that about your announcing. <laughs> That's all right. Unanimously acknowledged. Thanks, Joe Damon. Right now. Royce White's going to have a chance for a three-point play. First up at the other end, we've seen him beat you out, beat you with the dribble, beat you with the rebound, fast break. And good footwork around the tin. Well known that Royce White has an anxiety disorder for which he takes medication. He's become a spokesperson for that mental illness. And he hits the free throw. That's not his strength. And we'll develop that story a little bit more. But uh, it's something he deals with every day. And look at that rebound. Tough. 
Look at that rebound. Here he goes. He's really tough. This is his game. The stopper said, yes! The push and the open opportunity because of the skill level. To tie or take the lead. And, uh, right now, Fred's saying, pick up the pace a little bit. Without him at the rim, he can get there. The blow by the Marquette transfer. He's in the NCAA, did not play when he was a freshman at Marquette, but enjoying it right now. Christofferson back outside. That was Davis's first block of the game. They got a shot here, too. And your mention of Lamb with the fouls, this is really, and you can see the little shove, that's what the ref got. The earlier one. And it, John can't believe it at all. He didn't see the hand on him. That's four on Lamb. And Christofferson is at the free throw line. One more. Well, that takes a deep threat away from John Calipari, too. On the floor now, Tyrus McGee, the junior from Stringtown, Oklahoma. Actually born and raised here in Louisville, they moved to Oklahoma. He's pretty unstoppable. And by the way, they only have three assists for the whole game. Thank you. And while the conversation was going on, Fred Hoiberg got teed up. Well, Royce White, he felt, got fouled on that turnover of his as he drove baseline. And, you know, he has great self control. So he was right there. So in his mind, that should have been called. So a technical on Hoiberg. And uh, a stare down taking place. Take a look at this. Uh, the reach in and uh, that Fred looking for the call. Uh, because he's out of the coach's box, they're going to call it. Tough challenge threes. Rebound Edgem and Miller, I think, on the backside there, Vern. Yeah, I think you're right. He called a technical on Terrence Jones. Let's see what happens. Oh, there, yeah, they, they, it's maybe like they, that's one thing they've been. Christofferson at the free throw line. 89.9 from the free throw line. Nice feed, Royce White, and one. And Christofferson really hung with that on that baseline drive. Going past the bigs and then the fine. We talked a little bit about Royce White's uh, anxiety disorder for which he takes medication. He was telling Leslie Visser earlier that it, when, when he feels an attack coming on, it releases adrenaline in his body and he becomes exhausted and it affects his ability to fly. It's not so much a fear of flying as it is the exhaustion he fears will come. And as a result of that, his grandfather, Frank Martin, drove Royce White from Ames to Louisville for this game. He didn't want to take the chance on getting exhausted. There's his grandfather. Made the trip to Ames and drove here with him. John mentioned the Leslie too. Nice drive by Christopherson. Mentioned that halftime that play. You've got to trap it and then rotate the back on Davis's slip. Royce White with another. Sky high emotionally. And they get the... He's three of five tonight. And a foul is going to be called on. You know, the kid, unassuming, confident, but lack that offensive ego. And right here, he feels he just let him go. Got it. Get coverage of the first time these two teams have played in 20 years. Let's take you back 20. Fred Hoiberg. 
Only thing that's happened is the pants have gotten longer. Yeah. Well, if I'm Fred Hoiberg, I don't play Kentucky for another 20 years. <laughs> well, that's how good they are. From a ball boy to a star designer monitor to the head coach, and he's done a, just a great job. The last two years, a lot of kids transfers. He just wanted because they're talented. Some people were saying he was the Ellis Island of college basketball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Allen is fouled. Uh, Hoiberg, an executive in the NBA after a 10 year career. Minnesota Timberwolves came back home. Wife and family here, his wife Carol and the kids. He's got twin sons. And just uh, you and I so taken with him mm -hmm. during the uh, four days we've spent here. Yeah, he's such a natural guy. And you can see the, uh, the dealings with his players. They're so comfortable with one another. Chris Allen. He's a keeper there. He'll do some job, I think. He came out for the uh, practice yesterday afternoon, having just spent most of the night. Royce White's going to get a rest. Most of the night. It's offers. Chris Allen. And the long night continues for Chris Allen. Nice. Look at this kid. Keep playing. Nice. Big rebound. And then the assist. That's nice. All the kids going over to pick him up. Yeah. Hopefully this is just a rest. A nice play by White too. Real sportsmanship. That is an expensive somersault. Well, Royce White, the sophomore, fouls out 23 points, just short of a double-double. He had nine rebounds. And uh, that will bring to a close a remarkable season for White. He is a player. So many things that he does on the basketball floor at his size and strength. One day for us, huh? Hopefully you at home in time to see most of them. I'll be in Colorado in the morning. Fade away, Christopherson. I know we both lack one, but uh, that is some physique. Why would you include me in that conversation? Well, I didn't mean to offend you. Okay. Nice hands. Everybody's still playing defense. Percy Gibson. Hot shooting, talented Kentucky team, and they're unselfish. In the hunt, 9 10. Just sharing the world. Allen hands that one. He stopped practice to say, You guys find out what he eats, how often he sleeps, what he wears, and you emulate it, okay? And then he ordered the line. And of course, Murray State got knocked out today. They joined Western Kentucky as Kentucky teams who started the tournament now on the sidelines. But the host team at this site, Louisville, is playing out in Portland. And that game is available to you on TBS. Keep scrapping. I love it. Gibson. And he'll shoot a free throw as Davis gets called for the foul. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's tough. You know, you've taken a major shot from a talented team, and you just can't keep getting in a hole like they did. Wildcat win. Impressive for quite. Yep. Kentucky, Indiana next Friday in Atlanta.